Hey, how's it going guys? Saad here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teaching you exporting C function to JavaScript. Being able to execute C function from a WebAssembly module is a single most important feature. So in this tutorial, we'll take an in-depth look at the various ways mscript can help us to access C function from our JavaScript code. Of course, previously we could access all our C function on the module instance, but when loading Evasm with the help of mscript and auto-generated JavaScript, this process no longer seems quite obvious. Instead, then mscript will allow us to, to only export the function we choose to when compiling Evasm. I'll create a new function for us to test with a returning integer with a get num which returns 22. Now to make this new function callable from our JavaScript, JavaScript will have to explicitly tell the mscript and export it emcc lib slash demo dot c minus s wasm equals to one a gauge minus s this time we will pass another option called exported function this will be an array of functions which we wanted to export now very importantly mscript references a function by its name with the underscore prefix so to export get num we can add to this array underscore get num note that this array is passed as a json string and outputting in demo.js it's done and restart the server head on to the browser reload the browser First of all, note that we now no longer get the main function log message. When we don't specify any function export on Epscripten, we'll automatically export and call mine. But when we do declare export, we have to include main as well. I'll do this in a sec. But to call out when you get some function, we can learn as per the export underscore get num which returns 22 easy enough add back our main function underscore main that's done restart the server reload again and that's back still being called automatically i'll create another get num taking an integer which it returns multiplied by 2 export that in the function restart the server reload our browser underscore get double num passing in 22 we get 44. Pretty straightforward. Some might take different types of argument, multiple arguments, or even return string for our extended functionality. Then the script provides us a couple of JavaScript helper functions to execute exported C functions. The first of which is called C call, which takes its first argument, the name of the c function to call this exactly as appear in a c code so no underscore get num a little error because double l just put it back c call get num return us 22 just same as calling it directly with the underscore c call as part of mscript and primble js library i've mentioned this library before as it's provide a whole bunch of helper function for interacting with the C code from JavaScript and it's one of the many benefits of using of using them script in, in JavaScript code. Knowing that this function help us execute C function then let's try with a new function that returns a string pointer or a char pointer. We saw in the previous lesson that reading string from memory can be a bit of a stretch, but C call will make this very easy. I'll just call this greet returning hello, add that to our export function and compile, restart the server, reload our browser, then call greet directly using the underscore notation, which of course give us the memory location of the char pointer being executed. By using the C call, same thing as before, but we can tell C call what we are expecting from this function. The second argument being the expected return type which is string. Into that and this time we get the return string from memory. Hello, a lot easier than figuring out ourselves. C call can also help us with passing arguments to export and functions. I'll use get double num as an example. This returns a number, the number type being either an integer or a double. And it's also the default return type. With third and fourth argument in the form of arrays, 
the first being the type of arguments being passed to C function get double num only takes a single argument of type and number and the second array taking the arguments value to call this function worth corresponding to the types in the first array make it 12 and enter we get 24 not that impressive using integers so let's change greet to also take an argument this time of type char pointer or a string called name assign this string to a variable called greeting adding a space to the end of it then with the help of a string cat we will concatenate which we have to include with the string library include string dot h we will simply want to add this name to the greeting so concatenate onto greeting name string cat mutates the string being concatenating greeting so simply return that safe and recompile our code restart the server and reload our browser and now using sql we can again call the greet which returned a string with its one and only argument being type of string and value sod and hello Assad. so again making it extremely easy to work with string as argument and return types the second function mscripten makes available for us via preamble is called cwrap this is essentially the same as c call but allow us to assign a wrap the resulting function of the call to a native javascript function for example calling greet with the lengthy c call function every time isn't exactly convenient so instead in index.html down in this empty script tag let's wrap greet as a javascript function const greet being the name of our javascript function equals crap calling greet with a written type string and the argument la holding one argument of type string also we don't pass the argument values to crap as we do that when calling the resulting javascript function restart the server reload and now instead of using c call we can simply call greet the name of the javascript function when we just created with c wrap passing in the name assad which work as before returning hello assad much simpler and reusable inside a javascript project 